Hi and welcome back to the giant world of tiny things and another creative macro session. Today we're going to photograph a bouquet of roses and I'll show you how to create images like these. And for our first shot we're just going to leave those roses as are in their plastic wrapper because right now they look really gorgeous all bundled up and close together in a tabletop sort of perspective. So that's gonna be our first image and I already have an idea as of how to continue after. Let's go! To shoot our images we're going to use my Helios 44.3 which is a beautiful, beautiful vintage lens that produces a stunning bokeh that is very creamy, very soap bubbly, even more swirly and just very unique to this lens and so I'm very excited to use it in another macro session and I think it's the perfect choice for today. To make sure that we get enough magnification out of this 50mm vintage grind, I mounted it on 48mm of extension tubes that are sure to give us 1x or maybe even a little bit more than that. But just in case we encounter any interesting compositions that require even more magnification, I also got a 24mm lens reverse mounted and ready to shoot just in case we're going to need the 3x life size magnification that this lens provides. Now let's start shooting. Make sure that we get as many little bokeh circles as possible. We're going to spray some water across the flower buds in the background to make sure that we have plenty of specular highlights here and there and everywhere and that's just gonna look really gorgeous like a rainy day out in the field. Let's do it! I hope you enjoyed the video so far and I do hate to interrupt myself like this but I just figured that it would be a great time to let you know that I'm currently setting up a Patreon page which is really exciting because it's going to be an awesome platform for my most dedicated followers where you can support me financially if you'd like to and get some awesome exclusive perks and rewards in return. Now obviously I don't want any of you guys to feel obligated to give me your money or donate your money to this channel because I love what I do and I'm going to keep doing it and publish videos on a weekly basis no matter what but at the same time I kind of do want you to understand how much work and energy and time I put into creating these videos and it would really be awesome for me to slowly start paying for some of the bills that it's causing me with money that I'm actually making from what I'm doing. I hope that makes sense to you so I hope you understand where I come from but that's enough for now let's move on with the video. And just for comparison, we're going to take just the same shot with the 28mm lens on reverse just to get a lot closer and put some more emphasis on that water droplet. I know we're going to lose some depth of field, but that's a fair trade-off for me. Let's take the image. And here's the same shot with the 28mm lens on reverse. And here's the same shot with the 28mm lens mounted the right way round. Alright, we got to take a lot of awesome images so far, at least I'm enjoying them a lot and I really love the look that especially the Helios lens is giving me. If you love this lens as much as I do or if you have your own favorite vintage lens that you like to adapt for macro photography, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear about it. But now it's time to actually really get creative with things and take the spoker apart and reassemble the single components and see what we can make happen. Let's go! <laughs>
and our next few images are going to be refraction photos as well and we're going to use some of the rose leaves to place our water droplets on and I already got a really neat idea of how to create some framing for our images and for these next images we're going to carefully remove one of the rose leaves from the stem of the plant and then we're going to cut out or rather tear out a little section from the center and I'm just going to really carefully place a little cut and then I'm going to use my fingers to actually tear out the piece that I want to get rid of because I really want it to look as natural as I can get it and if we just cut out a piece it's going to be very obvious that we just cut it out and that it is not any kind of natural damage that is causing this hole inside the leaf. And that's just what I had in mind when I was talking about natural framing. Now I think these images look pretty cool and of course you can also just tear your leaf into random shapes or just place the water beads right on the jagged edge of your rose leaves. There are infinite creative possibilities. So I encourage you to get creative, get a bouquet of flowers, of roses, of any flower that you like and personally enjoy. Ideally one that your spouse likes too and get creative. I'll see you soon in another video and if you got content out of this one please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as it really helps me to keep up publishing videos on a weekly basis and it also makes sure that you get notified when my next video comes out next Friday. I'll see you then, until then stay creative, keep shooting and have a good time. Cheers!